Oh my world. This park is so disgusting. It's as if it hasn't been cleaned in weeks. It's as if it's fallen or something. Well, I'm out of here. There had better be a shopping mall full of people. Something to eat out over here. On the table, Lego Jurassic World set number 75931, Dilophosaurus Outpost Attack. 289 pieces with a Dilophosaurus, guard, tracker, another guard, baby dino in green. On the back of the box, stuff going on with this construction set. I think the holding pens are some of my favorites for Jurassic World. This one looks like it has all the fixings of fun. Inside the box, one booklet of instructions, bag of pieces one, bag of pieces two, looks like we have a real detailed Dilophosaurus this time, and some nice looking electric wire, and stickers, let's attack the outpost of Dilophosaurus. <laughs> Behold! The incalculable Squirrel Stampede has finally made a mistake! <laughs> he sure has. He placed the door section on backwards, thus finally proving his unintelligenceness. <laughs> I truly pity him and his subpar mammalian DNA. <laughs> it must be so hard for him. Here, let us do our good deed of the day and fix his mistake. <laughs> yes. Hmm. It looks like the C-clamp latch is a little bit stuck. <laughs> I got it. I know how to escape enclosures. <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm smushed. I'm smushed. <laughs> Help, Squirrel Stampede. Help. Oh, for goodness sakes. And we have constructed the Dilophosaurus Outpost Attack. A few things going on with this outpost. We have three different segments, a little security tower watch, some gates that blast open, and some charged electric wire to keep the Dilophosaurus on the right side. After that, pretty much open space. I suppose you could go out and buy a couple more of these sets and just keep linking them onto each other. I would have liked to have seen this set with an extra one of these segments with the long electric wire. And look at there, I think I've got it backwards again. There we go. 
those raptors are just stressing me out on the correct construction of this thing. So we have a pretty cool crane on top of that segment, and it looks like here we're able to pick up a baby dinosaur and... Whoa. And move it on over to the other side. However, I'm trying to figure out which side you want it to be on. This must be the enclosure side, so we basically just stole a dinosaur. Another way to get out is to break through these gates, and we could do that by these two posts right here and here. Just press them in and watch the gate go flying. They're quite stuck on there though. Let's move it around. Try it again from this angle. Okay, here we go. Wow, those go flying. Ah, there we go. Not really sure why that's there. The Dilophosaurus shouldn't have the ability to break out of his own cage. I guess it's more of an action feature type thing. Over here on this little outpost structure, we have a upper level to watch dinosaurs. We've got a little binoculars to grab onto, some communication equipment. Down below, we have a small computer station to keep track of all the Dilophosauri inside the enclosure. This thing was fun right here. It reminded me of these stairs I saw on one of those HGTV shows. I think it was Fixer Upper, where they put a little staircase and it kind of came down from the ceiling. Looked really heavy. Watch out for your head. Anyhow, we have some minifigures included. There's Tracker standing by the doors. Hey. Nice mohawk hairpiece. Over on this gate, which has broken off again, there's only one point to hold on to these, so they're coming off really easy. Not really sure why we didn't have a second point up on top for connection. Another easy way for the Dilophosaurus to escape, I suppose. Up on the crane, we have a guard. I see you! And next to him, a female guard. Yeah, watch it! So a good section of an enclosure piece. I like the look of these bendy electrical wires. Don't worry, it's off right now so I can touch them. It's kind of hard to get them in place in the center though. They're a little wiggly, but again, the look is really nice. Then we have a baby dino in a crate, which we just saw before. This one in green with a blue stripe. Is this baby blue, perhaps? Kind of an interesting thought. As for the Dilophosaurus, where did it go? You have to be very careful with these because of the spitting. Ah! Hey buddy, we're trying to do a review right now. No spitting. I said no spitting! I got her. Ah, thank you guard. Very helpful. So looking closer at the Dilophosaurus, what I really like about this one is a lot better detail. The Jurassic World Dilophosaurus was so bright green. Fallen Kingdom feels so much more lifelike. And like all Dilophosaurus's body, we have articulation in the hips, arms, neck, and jaws. Hey! Oh, not you too! Ah! Those tranquilizers wear off way too quickly. So if you're a fan of the Dilophosaurus, be on the lookout for the outpost attack. I found this set over at Walmart. <laughs> Walmart. You would never catch me there. I only shop at the finest Dilophosaurus stores. <laughs> That's right. I spit on Walmart. <laughs> oh yeah, I spit on them too. <laughs> I'll spit on them some more. <laughs> me too. Girls, girls! You realize with Toys R Us closing, there's not many options for buying toys. We're going to have to make do, and they do have a pretty large toy aisle. Meh, <laughs> you're right. Let's spit on the human. Meh, <laughs> good idea. Lego Jurassic World. Dilophosaurus Outpost Attack arrives on store shelves April 2018, runs approximately 35. If you're a fan of the Dilophosaurus and don't mind getting spit on, this construction set is for you. However, if you don't like venomous, poisonous stuff that burns the eyes, probably stick with something kinder and gentler like Lego Incredibles. That's what I have to say about that. Don't you dare. Spit on the logo. It's go time. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please 
Like, share, subscribe.